Hi folks, I'm Jim. Welcome to Great Books, Big Ideas. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna try something new on the channel. My first response to a tag video. And this one's the library tag. I was tagged by Denise at Dobby Books. Uh, Denise has a great uh, booktube channel and I linked to it in the show description. Check it out. And the original creators of this tag are BookBuds. Check them out too. So um, let me try to respond to these questions briefly. There's sort of two sets of questions and um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, be kind to me, I apologize in advance. This is gonna be a little bit shoddy and rough, but we'll see how it goes. If you do go to the library, how often do you go to the library? Well, I don't go to the library very often, number one. Not as often as I should. Uh, we have a wonderful, um, public library in my town of Westchester. It's the architecture is like beautiful. It's super quaint. It's like just just a nice space to be in. And um, it's in a walkable distance. It's a long walk from the house. I'd say maybe about maybe 10, 15 minutes. But um, it's, it's really lovely and I ought to go there more. So um, once, twice a year is probably how often I go now but I'd like to get more into a pattern of maybe like once a month. Number two, do you belong to more than one library system? No, I only belong to the Chester County Library System. Uh, that's it. Um, what percent of books you read come from the library? Uh, I'd say in the low single digits. Uh, and the, the last, I can't remember the last time I borrowed a paper book from the library, but I have gotten into the habit of uh, doing borrowing ebooks, and I'll cover that in the next question. Number four, do you listen to audiobooks or get ebooks from the library, or are you hooked on Audible or Amazon or something else? Uh, I don't listen to audiobooks very much. Uh, my wife has an Audible uh, subscription. She listens to a lot of books, and I um, don't, but there was one audiobook we listened to together last summer, which was the book by Rick Rubin, The Creative Act, which was, was a great listen, and it made me think I should do this more, too. I, I don't know why I don't listen to audiobooks more often, but that's the way it is. That could certainly change. Do I get ebooks from the library? Yes, I do get ebooks from the library now. I had to, I didn't before because things were out of date and I didn't have the software set up. But I have a Kobo ebook reader, uh, and that's integrated. I think they call it OverDrive. And then there's an app on my phone. Is it called Libby or something? But so, somehow they they all connect and it works. And I have borrowed a couple books. Uh, f recently from from my public library. Number five, did you go to story time at the library as a kid? Yeah, um, I don't know if we called it story time or something like that, but I, yeah, I do have a memory of growing up uh, in Marple Township in Delaware County, Pennsylvania, now known as Delco, and um, they had a nice little public library and I, my memories mainly are in the summertime. They had some kind of summer reading program and there was, there was a teacher and uh, she, I remember she was tall and she would wear these long skirts and she had sort of short hair and she was Australian. She had an Aussie accent and she was kind of memorable that way. And um, she was the leader of it and I think I think we were read to, I'm pretty sure, um, but it, it was something like that. The memories are really dim because I'm old. Uh, but uh, yeah, story time is great. And um, it's, uh, you know, uh, something like that I do have some memories of. Number six, have you ever borrowed a movie or video game from your library? Not so much, not so much. I did uh, used to borrow CDs a lot, CD music. Um, back back in the day, this was maybe like 25 years ago, I would do that quite a bit. I would go to the main branch library of Chester County, which is in Exton, Pennsylvania, and they had a really vast CD collection. I would borrow the CDs, I would rip them, true confessions, and uh, save them to my hard drive, and sometimes burn my own copies. Uh, have CDR copies. 
but uh, yeah, I did that a lot, but not so much movies. Maybe we rented, rented some DVDs, but or borrowed them, but um, not not so much. It's definitely not anymore. Number seven, have you ever gotten fined for returning books late? If so, how do you feel about that? Hmm, this is starting to feel like therapy or confession. Uh, I'm sure I've been fined for returning books late, but not that I remember. I would have been much, much younger when that happened. But usually I would get the books back on time. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty careful about that. Uh, how do I feel about getting fined? I mean, I just, I don't feel much of anything. I mean, if it's late, it's late. You deserve to pay the penalty. It's, I was happy to pay the fine. I didn't feel particularly guilty about it or anything. Uh, it was just, you know, not a big deal. Number eight, do you attend special events groups or book sales at the library? Hmm, uh, well, not so much. The only thing I do is book sales. So book sales, uh, yes, I'm all over those. There's a great website called Book Sale Finder and they'll list a lot of the local library sales and uh, spring is a really good season. Fall's pretty good too. And I always try to hit those. Uh, so, and I, I gather up lots of lots of books. I, I basically built my book collection mainly from library sales. Uh, I've been doing that since I was a kid. Number nine, have you ever given or taken a book from a little free library, a book box or book swap? Yes, all the time, the little free libraries. We have so many in our neighborhood. Um, we can walk to them and I walk the dog, I go for exercise walks. I always try to like pass by at least one of those little free libraries on my way. Always peek in the box and see what they have. And I'm always dropping off books. This is, I'm two, three books a week. I tend to like recycle that way. And I love finding new stuff. I talk about this a lot on my channel. Number 10, bonus question. Does your librarian know you by name? <laughs> I don't think so. I definitely not, definitely not, because I don't go often enough. All right, now let me go to the second set of questions because these maybe apply a little bit more to me than the first set. If you don't go to the library, and I have confessed that I don't go as often as I would like to, uh, why the heck not? Why don't I go to the library? Well, I have so many books in the house already. I mean, decades and decades of book collecting, and you know, my house is a library, <laughs> basically. I just have to get out of bed and walk to a shelf, and uh, you know, no fines to pay either. But that, that's mainly why. Uh, also, just be, be being busy with work and stuff, you know, there wasn't always time to like get to the library, uh, even though our public library is close, it's on the north side of town, it would be like a little inconvenient to drive to it and find parking. It's, I can walk to it, but it's a little bit of a long walk, 15 minutes and back and forth. And sometimes you just, you just don't go that way and you don't do it. But um, now that I'm working from home all the time, I, I've quote, retired from my full-time teaching job uh, and doing part-time remote teaching and freelance writing, uh, I will have a lot more time, if I want to, to wander into town and go to the public library. So I think, I, I think I'm likely to do it more now. Number two, where do you get your books from? Well, I said library sales is a biggie, used bookshops, occasionally Barnes and Noble, uh, Amazon, you know, the usual suspects, basically. Sometimes eBay, if it's something I'm, I can't find anywhere else. I've bought some books from ABE Books, but uh, generally that's how it goes. But mostly I look for used books. Uh, and if something's new out there that's got some buzz to it, I'm interested in it, I'll probably get that at Barnes & Noble. Uh, but that's, that's how that goes. Number four, when was the last time you stepped foot in the library? Probably um, maybe three months ago, four months ago, five months ago maybe. It's when I got my library card. So I had to get a new library card. They gave me a card for the wallet. The old card was just disintegrating. It was a mess. And I, wasn't, I don't even think I was in the system anymore. 
it had been that long since I borrowed a book, but I got my new card. I, they even gave me a little like keychain card, which I love. And that helped me to get set up for their uh, online borrowing system for the eBooks. And that was the last time I was in the library. Have you ever gone to an event at your library? Uh, yeah, but not any time recently. Like it's been ma many, many, many years. There's one sort of funny non-event, which uh, I saw some notice in the paper or online that Joyce Carol Oates was gonna be like at the Chester County and Main Branch Library. And this was, this was maybe like 20 years ago. And I, I said, oh, I gotta see that. You know, she's a really famous author, good writer. I've read some of her books. And I went to the library and there was no Joyce Carol Oates. It was just like, it didn't happen. I don't know if it got postponed or she canceled or I had the date wrong, but it was totally messed up. And I went to the event, but there was no event. <laughs> so uh, that happened or didn't. Number six, do you have little free libraries or book boxes or book spots where you live? Yes, uh, I talked about that. And uh, I'll see if I can share a picture of one of them. I, I think I have one I can share. Uh, it's probably on the video right now as I'm speaking. And I will tag some, some book friends, some booktuber friends with this. Uh, again, thanks to Denise at Dobby Books for tagging me. Uh, I hope this went okay. Uh, sorry I don't have more to say about it, but I'm a little bit of a... Uh, a lapsed library patron uh, is how I would describe myself. But this tag has now made me uh, want to be uh, a little more faithful and get back to my public library because it really is a nice, a nice, nice little library. It's beautiful. And uh, I want to get more into the flow with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.